Hey guys, we are back here at the shop working on the Hummer again. So today we're going to look at some electrical, not issues, but ways that I want to run things. So normally the Humvee is a 24 volt um, electrical system. 24 volt for everything. Well, the LS motor is 12 volts and the Holley Sniper EFI that I have on it is 12 volts. So I had a choice to either convert the entire truck over to 12 volts, which really isn't that hard. It's just light bulbs. Um, you got to run some converters for the windshield wiper motor and for the, what else was there? Windshield wiper motor, and I think that was it. But um, I've chosen to run dual systems. So I'm gonna have a 24 volt system for the Humvee itself and a 12 volt system for the motor, the stereo that I'm gonna put in it, things like that. Um, now in doing that, I have to run some things kind of special but for now what I need to do is the motor the 12 volt side is running it needs to be redone a little bit but it's running so I've got to look at the 24 volt system because right now the headlights don't work the tail lights brake lights none of that stuff works and what I'll show you here is this goes into the control box that usually sits up under the dash and it's not there as you can see by the giant hole there so what I have to do is find out where 20 volts, 24 volts went into that box and where it comes out of that box. And I believe it is at the um, top, it depends on how this goes, it's at the 12 and 11 pins, I just don't know if it's left or right. So I need to go get the control box, put 24 volts to it and see where it comes out. And as you can see, I've already got the front seat and the back seat out because my 12 volts is in the back and my 24 volts is in the front. So. I'm gonna run a wire from the 24 volt box over here for testing, and then we'll hook it up to the box, put a test light on it, and see uh, see what pins are out 24, so I can get the headlights, tail lights, horn, all that stuff working, and get this thing on the road, because I've got the 24 volt gauge, the VDO 24, and I've got the 12 volt gauge, but I want all of these gauges to remain 24 volts. So uh, as you can see, we had to run the diesel oil pressure uh, sensor there and just all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna play around with it. I'll let you watch and we'll go from there. So now what I'm going to do is determine what 24 volts is going in my control box and where that 24 volts that goes in comes out. So I've got my trusty uh, multimeter here and what I'm going to do is I did a little bit of research beforehand and I know that the main 24 volts goes into the center pin under the hood in the top. So let me show you right there. That is the main voltage coming in off of the harness. And I did all that while it was still hooked up so I could do this once it's taken apart. So all I'm gonna do is with my voltmeter, I am looking for resistance. So when I, uh, let me see if I can get my voltmeter somewhere where you can actually, see the reading here nine-handed octopus kind of deal so when i touch these together you'll see that thing jumps and so that's what i'm looking for i want to touch the center pin up here touch some pins over here and see what jumps so oh, here we go i know the center pin up here is where power was coming in so i'm just going to put that there and leave it and then all I have to do is kind of pin check each of these and wait for the multimeter to jump. Whoop, wait a minute. So nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, nope, nothing there. It jumps because it senses a change, but it doesn't read anything. Nothing, oh, is there something on that center pin? Looks like there might be something on that center pin. Nothing there. A little bit of something there. A little bit of something at the 12. You'll see there's this little tab up here at the top. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that kind of sets the plug where that is. So I think I'm gonna call that 12, 11. And the center pin read something earlier. I kind of cheated and I kind of know that the center pin doesn't do anything. Really what we're looking for is from the, the um, little notch in the where it connects in, the 12 o'clock position 
and the 11 o'clock position. Both have power coming out of them. So now what I have to figure out is where that power goes. So I'm gonna activate the 12 and the 11 position on the harness and see if my horn starts working, if the gauges start working, what exactly those go to. So wait one second and I'll show you how that works. All right, so this is the plug that actually came out of the box from underneath. And you'll see what I was talking about earlier. Let me get my fancy pointing device. Is this little notch is where we were testing from. We called that the 12 o'clock position. So realistically, from that notch down, there should be this and this need power. Um, unless, does that turn? Nope. So directly underneath it, kind of offset a little bit. That one, actually, it'd be this one and this one. Because from the notch, I'm kind of looking over at the, the gauge itself. But it's this one and this one on the pin, on the plug. So I'm going to hook 24 to that, see if it works. 24 to that, see if it works. And uh, hopefully we don't burn this thing to the ground, right? Yay! All right, so what I have here is a... Uh, 24 volt wire, okay? So I'm gonna kinda get it untangled a little bit so I don't, this is just not the best way to do this. And I understand that, you can comment below, but I'm okay with it. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I've got my flasher set. So on the Humvee, the turn signal, uh, when you go all the way up, you push in the hazard and you push it all the way up, uh, it turns on the hazards. So when my hazards turn on, I should be able to hear those. And uh, so I'm gonna do it based on, like I said, 12 o'clock position, so first one's here. Nothing. Got him. So it is that 11 o'clock position, you can hear him ticking maybe. Those are solenoid, or uh, relays I put in for the 12 volt um, trailer hitch. Now let's see if the horn works with that in there. Oh yeah. Now, I don't know if the gauges, let's see if the gauges work. They're not looking like it. Um, let me go back to 12 and see if those are the gauges. No, I'm looking at the fuel gauge just to see if I can see it moving. Um, Cause it should pop up. But I have not looked at the wiring on the back. Um, they could have changed that around a little bit on me too, but that's good. So that's the 11 o'clock. I'm gonna show that on the video so I can look back at it when I forget. So I'm just gonna have to come back here and cut that wire splice into it with a 24 volt switch and then I can just turn my 24 volt stuff on with a switch instead of using ignition because ignition right now has gone to 12 volts. Confusing, confusing, confusing. That's it. I'm gonna leave that just like that for a minute so I can play around, see what works, see what doesn't and I'll get back with you. So now we're looking at the gauge cluster and I wanna see what powers the gauges and the only one without the motor running is the fuel gauge. So I wanna see why the fuel gauge is not ticking on with the lights and all of the other wonderful stuff. All right, so what it looks like, let's see if you can see this down in here. The fuel gauge, whoops, sorry, right down here, these two wires, um, they're hooked up normal. So they should be working. So now I need to go under the truck and see if something happened to the wiring down there. So when all else fails and everything's plugged up correctly, because I went under the truck and it is all hooked up right, um, I've got to pull out the wiring diagram for the Hummer, for the military Humvee. And I have to think Brian Troxel, I hope I, I doubt I'm saying that right, I'm probably butchering it, but Brian sent me this in the mail when he did his LS swap and he's kind of got everything diagrammed out and you can see here's the instrument cluster and then I've got to find the fuel gauge and I just got to see how that gets into the protective control box which looks yellow wire yellow wire so I'll trace those out and find out where it is and get back to you so this is what I did out of the back side of the weight light is wire 27f I don't know if you can see it right here 27f under the dash it's on this little metal clip and 27F, when you hook 24 volts to it, everything lights up. The windshield wipers work, everything. So for lighting, turn signals, et cetera, et cetera, 
you need 15A, which is what that red wire, I put some red tape around it, and that you can hook up constant because that's gonna be your lights. Then this, you can hook up to a switch and that way um, you can turn your gauges on off, things like that. But I'll hook all this up and show it to you once I get it done. So here's where I am today. I took a loss. I have no idea. I can't get the gauges to work. I found the right wire for the 24 volt, which is 27F is the right wire. Works the windshield wipers, everything. It even powers the gauges, gives the gauges their 24 volts. But all of the gauges just peg straight to max. And um, I think maybe the temp sensor I know is wrong. They put the wrong one on the motor. I think the fuel uh, at the tank, the sensor, I think they have the, the plug switched in the opposite, in the wrong direction. And then oil pressure, I don't know. We use the factory oil pressure for off the diesel. Um, and I have no clue. So I'm gonna just, we're gonna get a new one of those, take the tank down, do some stuff. But today was a, was a, a learning day, but not a winning day.